In this video, we're going to be looking at the time complexity of recursive algorithms. Um, and in order to determine that time complexity, we're going to be using recurrence relationships. Uh, a recurrence relationship is basically an equation that defines a sequence. And uh, uh, what it has that's special is that every single term of, of that sequence is basically defined as a function of preceding terms of the same sequence. So let's look at a concrete example. Uh, let's look at the factorial recursive algorithm. Um, if you remember, it was basically just multiplying n by a call to that same factorial function uh, using a decremented argument n minus 1. In the ordinary case where we had uh, the for loop, if we looked at the factorial algorithm which wasn't recursive, which was basically just n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, so we'd have a for loop and you would constantly decrement n, you kept on multiplying your result and until you got to 1, this involved approximately n steps, so it was big O of n. In this case, what we're going to do is we're trying to determine uh, that the number of steps, but this time we're looking at this algorithm, which involves recursive calls. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to define a function t of n. This will give us the number of operations involved in, in such, a, such an algorithm. And uh, we're basically just going to come up with a recurrence relationship. This is a recurrence relationship, and we're going to see how we came up with it. Well, if you look at this statement, you notice that what we're basically doing is we're reducing our problem from, from one of size n to size n minus 1, right? and we're performing one multiplication. So there's a, a constant step involved, which is the multiplication, plus there is a reduction of the problem to the same problem that we have except with n minus 1. So this is basically what this is trying to portray. So there's the constant step. We don't know what ex exactly how many instructions are involved or what units are involved right here, so we're just going to put a constant step C. And we're going to be saying that it's the same number of steps, it's the same uh, um, recurrence relationship once more that we're going to call, but this time with n minus 1 instead of n. So t of n, the number of steps involved in uh, computing this factorial uh, um, algorithm would be c plus t of n minus 1, where, where n minus 1 is basically the reduced problem. So this gives us a recurrence relationship, so we see that every single term is actually defined based on a previous term. And uh, the way you would expand this is using backwards substitution. So um, in this case, t of n minus 1 was, will simply be become this. So your n minus 1 will be your new n, and then minus 1, so minus 2. And you keep on doing this backwards substitution until you get to the very base case, which is n minus n. n minus n is t of the 0. And you notice that you would have, at that point, n times c, so n times constants. If you actually did that backwards substitution all the way, you would notice that you would get that. And the base case is, in a factorial um, case, is basically just um, a, a constant step. So in the factorial case, would be multiplying by 1. So once you reach the base case of this recursive algorithm, you would have whatever it is, just return 1. And, and so it involves a constant number of steps. We're going to call it C0. Uh, just to differentiate it from that constant number of steps. And finally, it, this, this recurrence relationship, which, which uh, basically was to give us the time complexity of our recursive algorithm, reduces all the way to nc plus c0. And nc plus c0 is, if you wanted to look at it, uh, um, if you look, wanted to look at the uh, recursive algorithm and how it grows, it's basically just a, a, a big O of n because this is going to be the most important factor when your n grows and grows uh, uh, large and large. So um, we've basically shown here that uh, using a recurrence relationship that the rec recursive algorithm of the factorial is basically also uh, one that is big O of n. So they have comparable number of steps, the recursive algorithm and the, um, the normal ordinary algorithm for uh, factorial. And also since uh, c is, is without units, and it's just a constant step, we're not really sure how many instructions are involved, we're just going to treat it as a unit, a unit of the number of inst instructions. So it won't really matter, actually. In our final result, big O of n will always be the same. Uh, so t of n, we could just simply express it as 1 plus t of n minus 1 instead of what we had before, c plus t of n minus 1. So, they're, so they are equivalent expressions, re recurrence rela relationships, and uh, they express uh, the same thing.